Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, follow, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank you folks for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's a link to you down below. Has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there, follow me across my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen folks, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be sitting down right here on this channel having a live radio show. We'll be talking about the Jets. We'll be talking about the draft. We'll be talking about all the things going on, okay, surrounding the Jets and having fun doing so. Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. Now, with that said and done and put to the side, Ah, I'm coming to talk to you folks today about Robert Sulla, Coach Robert Sulla, the head coach of the New York Jets, getting into a heated conversation with the New York Jets owner, Woody Johnson, at the NFL owners meetings. We're going to be discussing that. This just came out. And we're also going to be discussing Zach Wilson as well and some of my thoughts on him and his situation because... He's still on the roster. <laughs> we're going to be talking about that, okay? Now, first, we're going to start off with Robert Sella and Woody Johnson. Now, according to reports, okay, from Colleen Wolf, okay, this, this woman works um, on the Around the NFL show, okay? She comes out. She's a trusted reporter and says that she has a source, very close to the situation that witnessed head coach Robert Sulla and Jets owner Woody Johnson having a very heated conversation at the NFL owners meetings. Now, it was not explained exactly what was said in the heated conversation. That has not been put out there yet, right? But they said there was a heated conversation. And after that conversation, it was very awkward. Okay, that's what's been put out there. I'm not going to put the audio because your boy will get copyrighted. But that is was the report. Okay, now I find this situation interesting because we know that the media has a way of twisting things, especially when it comes to the New York Jets. Right. There have been things that have been said that have come out to kind of be true, but not be true. There are some leaks that have turned out to actually be credible. Some have fallen off the cliff. So take it with a grain of salt. Right. But let's say that this is true and they did have a heated exchange and conversation, right? I wouldn't be surprised. And it's because Woody Johnson, <laughs> first off, we know that the Johnsons are very meddlesome owners. We know that. That's, that's, they have a long history of being meddlesome. That was the reason why we haven't been able to get a solid head coach and a solid general manager here for years before Sulla and Joe Douglas. We knew that that was a big hindrance. A lot of people around the league talked about it. Nobody wanted to deal with the Johnsons until, you know, Sulla came into the building and until we got Joe Douglas in the building. That's when things started to change and the the look of the Jets, the aura, the clown show had moved on. All of that, the, the franchise had been, you know, changed from a, a that perspective, the way the NFL looked at us. That's when it changed. But before that, it was a mess because they were very meddlesome owners. They were known for being ridiculous. But I'll tell you what, this offseason, Woody Johnson has been coming out and saying a lot of things in the media that I've been like, bruh, you got to, like, you need to calm down, okay? And uh, one of those things that he's been doing is publicly bashing Zach Wilson. Now, I want to be completely clear about this. Zach Wilson has not been good, Okay. In big, bold letters, he has not been good. But we all know that the Jets have been intending to move on from Zach Wilson. And Woody Johnson has really been kind of doing his best to kill any possible trade value for Zach Wilson, just running his mouth as the owner, right? We know that uh, earlier this offseason, he was asked by the media about Zach Wilson and the backup quarterback situation for the New York Jets. And he literally said, oh, yeah, we need to address the backup quarterback situation because we didn't have a backup quarterback last year. Well, the backup quarterback was Zach Wilson. <laughs> like, like, come on, man. 
come on, this is before we got Tyrod Taylor, right? And it was like, come on, man, why would you say that when you know we're going to try to, you know, move on from this guy? If other teams around the league, of course, they're watching and kind of struggle, but when you're coming out as the owner, the guy that's in the building consistently and saying things about him like that, then other teams are going to be like, oh, this, this guy must be way worse than we already think. Not just on the field. It's probably something going on in that locker room with them, too. Like, come on, Woody. And even recently, he came out and said some things about Zach Wilson as well at the owners' meetings. Uh, they asked him about Zach Wilson, and he literally came out and said, Zach Wilson needs a change of scenery, but he's still an asset to this team. What? <laughs> then he publicly said at this very owner's meeting that they're at, he said, if the New York Jets cannot trade Zach Wilson, which we know they're trying to do, they've allowed Zach Wilson himself to go seek a trade with his agent. He said, if they can't trade him, then they're just going to keep him. Why, why don't you tell, you know, tell them our draft plans too there, uh, Woody. <laughs> like, tell, them, tell them who we're targeting in the draft. Who's, who's our top three prospects? <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead, man. It's like, come on, brother. Like, okay, look, Woody Johnson is the owner. We know that. But he doesn't need to be yapping like this publicly. And I just, man, I could see people just being tired of that. Especially, again, there was a lot of leaks in the reports as well. Um, from a while ago, I was talking about how Robert Sella tries to avoid him because he comes to him with stuff that he reads from fans on Twitter about Robert Sella. And Robert Sella don't be wanting to hear that nonsense. Now, again, that's from another leaked report as well, right? But, you know, I, I could see this starting to boil over and weighing heavy and people just being kind of tired of it, especially, again, with all the expectations and all of the pressure that's been ramped up on the New York Jets. And, of course, Robert Sella and J.D., they know if they don't get it done this year, it's, it's finished. They're going to get fired. And I'm very sure that, you know, Woody is soft, <laughs> softly letting them know that consistently, right? So that's just my outlook on, on that situation. Again, comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this reported uh, exchange between Sella and Woody Johnson. But... As we continue to talk about Zach Wilson here again, man, these rumors about multiple offers and stuff was coming out, and I thought that that was a lie, okay? I'm being completely honest with you. Um, Zach Wilson has yet to show that he can be solid consistently, okay? Now, he's had some flashes. That Kansas City Chiefs game, he played extremely well. That's probably the best game he's ever played as a New York Jet. But a few games after that, he ended up getting benched. Things fell off the rail. They decided to move on from him at the helm. It wasn't any better, really, with Tim Boyle or Trevor Simeon. But Zach Wilson gets benched yet again. He was benched twice last season. So I look at the situation, I say to myself, if the Jets were getting offers, they would have moved on from him already. He'd already be gone. Again, he's been allowed to seek a trade himself with his agent, and still nothing has materialized to this point. Uh, a lot of people have talked about the contract being a hindrance and all that stuff. Now, I don't think the Jets are going to cut him, as Woody Johnson has said himself. And I talked about that at the end of the season. I didn't think they'd be able to move on from him. I don't think they're going to eat the $11 million cap charge if they get rid of him in dead money. I think that they're just going to keep him on the roster. But trading him is tough, especially when you look at the market. Mac Jones and Justin Fields, two quarterbacks that aren't Joe Montana and, and Dan, you know, Dan Marino. They, they aren't <laughs> Drew Brees and, 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 and you know, Peyton Manning. But they've shown that they're definitely better to this point than Zach Wilson. Hell, Mac Jones led a team to the playoffs. I think it was 2021, and he actually made the Pro Bowl as well in 2022 over there with the Patriots. And Justin Fields, even though he was in a situation with the Bears, that, that was just a mess over there. He showed, I think, a bit more consistently that he had a higher ceiling, a better upside, and could be better than Zach Wilson. So those guys got traded for, you know, a six-round pick, each of them. So when you look at Zach Wilson's value, I mean, he isn't worth two dead flies smashed together if you're trying to trade him. I'm being completely honest with you, you know? So I think he's going to be here, and it is what it is. I think he's going to continue to get coached up and – We'll see what the future holds for him. But I think I personally think at this point that Zach Wilson will be here, just like Woody Johnson said, on this roster when the season starts. I don't think the Jets are going to be able to move on from him because they can't get rid of him or trade him anywhere. I just And I've been talking about that since the end of the season. So comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about the report, about uh, the leak that uh, 
Robert Sulla and Woody Johnson got into a heated exchange. What are your thoughts about Zach Wilson? Um, you know, him being on the roster. Even Woody Johnson himself said, uh, if they can't trade him, he's still going to be here. I've, I've said it all along. I think he's going to be here going into this season. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. You folks have a good one. Peace.